The Dream SMP was home to Minecraft's most beloved creators. However, after hitting its prime in 2020, the server, and most importantly its members, have become a shell of what they once were. Did the members of the Dream SMP simply leave because it ended, or were they exposed for nefarious, immoral, or even predatory behaviour? My name is The Web Defiler. Today we'll dive into the disturbing stories of former Dream SMP members, starting with the man behind the server itself, Dream. However, in order to understand the depth of Dream's demise, we must go back to where it all began. Initially, Dream was a nobody teenager with a pretty unsuccessful YouTube channel, until he made his official debut in 2019, flaming into success, passing 100,000, 10 million, and eventually 30 million subscribers. His Minecraft Manhunt series, along with the Dream SMP server itself, broke the internet. However, going into 2020, he would face his first serious controversy after being accused of cheating in a Minecraft speedrun. The last few months, there have been some serious allegations against the popular YouTuber Dream, claiming that he tampered with random loot drops in his Minecraft speedruns. But by every metric we've tried, it seems that Dream's odds are just unexplainable. Denying the accusation, before eventually admitting he quote, accidentally cheated. However, the events which really damaged and almost ruined his reputation, career, or even life were the grooming accusations levied against him. And then you can clearly tell that from the 17th to my birthday, I didn't save any messages. And this is because I wanted him to trust me. I thought that I was genuinely building a bond with my favorite YouTuber. And boy, was I wrong. So from the 17th, to maybe February 10th is the time frame where we were- Though Dream was able to counter them with a mega response video, his career hasn't been flourishing since. However, unlike Dream who appears semi-active, Wilbur Soot's presence is completely gone. What led to Wilbur Soot leaving the internet, and where is he now? To answer these questions, let's establish who exactly Wilbur was. Wilbur Soot, or just simply Wilbur, was a Minecraft YouTuber, streamer, and internet personality with over 6 million subscribers on YouTube, 5 million followers on Twitch, and a world-renowned band. With a public image as a do-no-harm softboy, it shocked millions when serious accusations of biting, slobbishness, and most importantly abuse surfaced from an ex-partner. And this time, it feels like my silence is not keeping my peace. It's only keeping somebody else's peace. Um, and I never thought that I could be the kind of person to end up in a situation like I did. I never thought that could happen to me. And so for me, this is important because it could help anybody else see the signs sooner than I did, um, or hopefully avoid a similar situation entirely because the, whew, the truth is it was dangerous. Um, there were a lot of things wrong in this relationship that um, I endured some pretty terrible treatment. To summarize, his ex-partner Shovel would go on stream airing the disturbing allegations. Shortly after, Wilbur would release a Twitter response admitting to being a bad partner whilst denying the abuse claims. Additionally, after his response released, another partner would release a separate and arguably more disgusting allegation, this time corroborating Shovel's general claims of biting and mistreatment with one harrowing inclusion, an allegation of SA. Since his initial response, there has been no signs of Wilbur on the internet, but unlike Wilbur's disappearance, Tubbo appears to be doing better than ever. Who is Tubbo, and where is he now? Tobias James Smith, also known as Tubbo, gained an audience of millions through being a positive role model for the LGBTQ community, having an entertaining personality, and largely being a member of Dream's Minecraft server. However, Tubbo's career wasn't exactly controversy free, as in March of 2024, a serious accusation of SA would surface. At the time, Tubbo was engaging in a subathon and released an on stream response. Face, but now I think that this is the perfect time. Uh, some dates and times might be incorrect due to how drunk I was. Do not have a driver's license. This is physically impossible to happen. I don't know what I need to do to prove that. I do not have a driver's license. I have a, prov I have a provisionary driver's license, which means I'm unable to drive on the road without my mum in the car or someone who's had a driver's license for 25 years. Although Tubbo's accusations were proven 100% false, the same definitely couldn't be said for a prominent member of the Dream Team. 
puns. To give a quick background on who exactly Puns is, for the alarming accusations made against him, Puns was a close friend of the two founders of the Dream SMP, Dream and George Not Found. He gained an audience of millions of followers, subscribers, and loyal fans until his ex-girlfriend released a Tumblr post on him accusing him of selfishness, abuse, and R4PE. Shortly after, Puns would release a response, which in combination with minimal evidence of the more serious claims, made him look relatively good. However, just a few days later, in a now deleted tweet, Puns would release his own allegation against Dream, being a bad friend, stealing his girlfriend, and most importantly, cucking him were the main pretty stupid themes which led to a laughable public response and the accusation vanishing. As for where Puns is now, he appears semi-active online and may make a return to regular content creation. Although Puns run on the internet was filled with controversy towards the present, Tommy in it has almost the exact opposite track record. Being a relatively early member on the Dream SMP, Tommy in it was a longtime content creator until he really blew up in the same 2020 wave. Whilst his association with the Dream SMP gained him popularity, personality, editing, and content quality were the true catalyst behind Tommy in it gaining over 10 million subscribers. Despite a decline in stats going into 2021, and eventually significantly lower views in 2024, Tommy Innit has continued content creation. His reputation appears almost undamaged, even attaining millionaire status at the age of 20. However, despite being almost 10 years older, George Not Found's reputation has suffered an almost unrecoverable blow. However, let's begin with a summary of who exactly this 27-year-old Minecraft YouTuber is. George Davidson, or George Not Found, began his career back in college studying computer science. He streamed with his friends and soon-to-be viral creators Sapnap and Dream. Eventually, through his involvement in the Dream SMP and various viral videos, George would amass an audience of over 10 million subscribers. However, his empire would come crashing down when another streamer named Katie Bugs accused him of SA. In a hotel room. It was my first convention I was invited to, so I stuck by one of my best friends the entire time. I was nervous but excited about it all and felt really grown up. One night, we were at a house party when we decided to leave. It was me, my best friend, and her other friend. We sat on the couch and answered questions about each other. When I resorted to playing games on my phone when it happened, out of nowhere, I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch. The allegations were never proven correct or false, but George didn't look anywhere near as guilty as Wilbur, defending himself pretty well. However, considering the degree to which his reputation has been damaged, who knows if George will make a successful or any return. However, unlike George Not Found, Jay Schlatt's career has been pretty well controversy free. Unlike many of the creators in this video, Schlatt had an audience long before the Dream SMP existed. His joking, charismatic, and friendly personality was the reason Jay Schlatt gained an audience before even being invited to the server. Unsurprisingly though, Schlatt was not unaffected by the decline of Minecraft. However, in recent times, he still appears to be active, creating his own Minecraft SMP in light of Dream server collapsing, and maintaining a relatively excellent reputation. The Dream SMP was good while it lasted, however the server was doomed from the start. If anything, this video should serve as a reminder to never idolize those you see on the internet, as behind the scenes they may have horrible accusations levied against them, ready to go public. However, some allegations are more credible than others, and the George Not Found accusations were shaky to put it lightly. Click on this video on the screen right now to hear the full, tragic tale of George Not Found. 